This is a meditation on the sense I am. The I am is not mysterious or distant. It's a sense we all have, but we overlook. This meditation is being done in such a way that it will be easy for beginners in non-dual meditation or self-inquiry. It's being done in such a way that it can be easily absorbed and benefited from. Meditation on the sense I am is very powerful. It may be the best meditation you can do. It is the simplest, and yet it is the most difficult. And why so difficult? Because we're going to be focusing attention on that which cannot be seen, or felt, or sensed by any of your senses. Nor can it be known by your mind. You're going to awaken to a different kind of sense. This sense allows you to make contact with your own being not as an abstraction or a concept, but as your direct experience, as your very being. We'll start by simply closing our eyes. Take a couple of deep, slow breaths, and this will bring you into your body. We're going to gradually make our way inward starting with closing the eyes, which shuts off the majority of the information we are normally receiving from the external environment, and it shifts attention inward towards the realm of feeling and thinking. As you're breathing, let your attention take in each breath as it happens. Breathe slowly and give your body permission to relax into whatever you may be sitting on or lying on. I do recommend that you be sitting or lying and not active during this meditation. This is an exercise in focus and concentration as much as it is the experience of yourself. So it is best to give it all your attention. As we continue the journey inward, notice the sensations that make up your body, the feeling of your hands and feet and legs, the sensation of your abdomen as it rises and falls with the breath. The feeling of your clothes against your skin. The coolness of the air going into your nostrils. And the warmth of the air as it emerges from there. Feel the feeling of warmth or coolness of the room. Notice the various parts of your body that may be relaxed. Notice the ones that may be holding more tension, maybe even some aches and pains. Just feel this energy field of experience that we call the body, this field of sensation. As we're taking all this in, let go of any agenda that may be here. We're not here to fix anything, to change anything. We're not here to improve or grow. We're not here to succeed at meditation. 
have no preconceived notions as to what you're going to discover here, what you're going to find. This moment, just as it is, let it simply be your meditation, your one meditation. Not one of many meditations, not one in a series of meditations for the next weeks or months. The I am meditation is not a process. It's only about your attention, here and now, this moment, with no other purpose or agenda. If you find your mind getting very distracted, this is perfectly normal and okay. Just take a few more deep breaths and keep bringing your attention back to just the sensations of your body. You will notice that there is thinking. You'll notice that thinking can be very attractive, very engaging, almost hypnotic in the way it takes your attention away without you even knowing it. If that happens, that means you've noticed it and you simply bring your attention back. You'll always notice this after it's already happened. No need to try to stop it. Just bring your attention back with a couple of breaths. Bring it to this realm of just feeling without agenda, without judgment or processing, or even naming anything. Even set aside the word body and just experience it as this field of energy patterns and breathe. You'll notice that these sensations are constantly moving, sometimes very subtly, sometimes quite dramatically. In this state of simply watching, you may find emotions coming to the surface. Any emotion can surface. Sadness, anger, frustration, Anxiousness, restlessness, but also elation, happiness, calm, stillness. Whatever emotion may be there, even if there is none at all, just let it happen and watch it. Just the way you are watching all your sensations as they happen. The emotional system is just a different level, a different vibration of that same field of energy we call the body. It is just nature. And of course, thinking is happening. Thinking seems to be the most distracting of all. It can take practice to withdraw and become adept at staying focused. For now, just focus on my voice. Follow my voice, which will be constantly calling you back 
even if you were lost in distraction. A call to return to this place of pure observing, of pure watching, will be constantly coming to you. This place is the place of the observer or the witness. It is the place of pure witnessing, pure observing. This is the place within you that is referred to as the pure witness. Everything in your experience is being witnessed. Thoughts are witnessed. Emotions are witnessed. Sensations are witnessed. This witnessing is always happening. Now, just notice that there is something there that is witnessing. Don't give it a name. We're not even going to call it the witness. We're not going to call it the observer. We're not going to call it the self. We're just noticing that witnessing is happening. That's it, just like sensations are happening. Witnessing is happening just like sensations are happening, and emotions are happening, and thinking is happening. Witnessing too is simply happening. Now, right behind the witnessing, notice, there is something. There's something that sees even this witnessing. Don't try to name that. Just notice that there is a seeing happening. And isn't that you who is seeing this? Isn't that you behind all the witnessing? Isn't this your true I? You are witnessing. I am is the witness. I am witnessing. This is self-evident. No one needs to confirm this for you. This is the I am, the sense of being. Just keep your attention on that simple sense of I am. That sense that you are. You exist. You have being. Now, for many, there could arise at this point a bit of a struggle. Maybe some confusion. Your attention may start jumping around. Not a problem. We are very used to putting our attention on something. Even the subtle witnessing our attention can focus on. But you, who are behind even the witnessing, attention can't see you. You are what attention reports to. Now, for the next few minutes, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to let you just be with the music that is behind my voice. And you simply be aware that you are present. Take in that sense I am even without being able to look directly at it. Your attention has gone as far as it can go. When one speaks of going within, it is a moving of attention. 
withdrawing from the external world of objects and events, moving past the internal world of thoughts and emotions and sensation, even past the realm of just witnessing to the ultimate, as far as you can go. Here, you awaken a different kind of knowing, one that doesn't need attention or an object. It is a different way in which we sense the I am, a different kind of knowing. So while my voice is not guiding you, you will find yourself distracted. When you do, take a couple of breaths and walk that same path back to this point. Each time you do that, it will become a little easier to get back here. Then just try to sit with this sense I am and nothing else. It's a different kind of attention. You are activating a different knowingness. You are becoming adept at concentration with no object to concentrate on. It's a different way of knowing. So I'm going to leave you now for a few moments, and as I do, remember, there is no agenda, you can't get this wrong, just be sincere. I'll come back later to bring you out of it.
Very good, very good. Now, take another deep breath or two and notice that this was a direct experience, a very personal experience. It wasn't theoretical or conceptual. It wasn't imaginary. You were not in any trance or any kind of altered state of consciousness. You were simply looking deeply into yourself, into your own inner being, your own inner oneness. You were looking from the place that the senses and even attention cannot take in. Now, why would one do this kind of a meditation? This sense, I am, is where everything in your life arises from. Without that sense of I am, there would be no life. There would be no experience. It, or rather you, are the ground of being, the source of your world. It is the source and essence of your very existence. It is the source and essence of your creativity, your intelligence, your love, all your interactions with others. The entirety of human life arises from here. To reconnect our everyday sense of self with that I am, to recognize it as yourself, is to reconnect with your soul and to be the creator of your world. You are filled with being, you are filled with awareness, you are filled with love. Stay with that sense and you will find all of the richness and wondrous powerful qualities emerging more and more in your heart and your everyday life. Take one more breath, and when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs>